You want an exposure to a market or an Everything asset. they need in one place. We're the world's foremost authority on ETFs, advisors and institutions. As a value investor, Antok Tagliaferro joins us today to talk about how he manages his portfolios amid the current market volatility. Look, it's difficult to say. I mean, I think, uh, you know, there are some significant things going on, um, you know, and it's difficult to see the market recover quickly, I think. Um, I, I think the, the main thing is interest rates will stay low, so that, that will support the market to some extent. But I think there seems to be a growing realisation that, you know, that the earnings growth outlook going forward is getting tougher. Uh, certainly for Australian companies, when you look at the resource sector with where commodity prices are, Certainly with the banks in terms of their, the, all the new equity they've issued, you know, it's going to be very hard to grow. Um, you know, so major sectors of the Australian market are struggling to grow. And certainly then if you look overseas at the US, you know, those US multinationals, uh, which earn a, lot of, a significant amount of their money in, play, in emerging markets, which have got their own issues. Look, it's difficult for everybody, I think. Uh, we've got a little bit of cash across most of our portfolios. Uh, we've also got stocks on the takeover, like energy developments, where we will be receiving the cash in the next month or two. So look, we're, we're going through the market. We're looking for things that look reasonable and picking them up in weakness. Look, again, I think for defensive sort of stocks, if you want a, a solid yield, a sustainable yield, you know, things like Shopping Centres Australia, which has got long-term leases with Woolworths, looks, looks okay at $1.90. Osnet, which is a regulated utility, you know, at $1.30 again on a yield of 6.5%, 50% franc, I think. Uh, you know, it looks reasonable. Uh, they've been sold down, you know, quite heavily in this market as well. and and. To be honest, I think one thing that uh, will come out of this is that, uh, you know, yield interest rates are not going to go up in a hurry. Yield will remain valuable. And those stocks that can offer a good solid yield will find support again when, when the nerves settle down. Um, you know, the banks, we're sort of looking at them again. The, the banks have got issues. But, you know, National Australia Bank, perhaps, when they fall, you know, below $30, we, we look at them. Uh, some of the overseas earn, earners, like, like Brambles, are beginning to look interesting. So look, there, there are stocks that look interesting. Uh, it's just a matter of timing, you know. So the best thing to do in these sort of markets is to try and average in uh, and pick the down days, you know, to do your buying. Look, so look, it's doing well. Um, you know, most of the stocks in there are, are, are um, they have have the criteria we look for. You know, competitive advantage, recurring earnings. Uh, they all pay reasonable dividends. They're all pretty well positioned. I, I think, as I uh, may have said before, you know, it, it's companies, you know, we've been of the view that growth was going to be low for a while. And I think what's happening in the market today confirms it. In fact, I think there's fears of a second sort of recession or whatever. But I think it's clear, you know, that it, it's going to be difficult for most companies to grow unless, unless they have certain things around them which are going their way. So, you know, we're looking for companies making accretive acquisitions uh, like Pact Group, like Aurora, uh, companies which are restructuring like GWA, Fletcher Building is another one that's restructuring its asset base, uh, companies which have regulated growth, you know, locked in like Shopping Centres Australia and uh, Osnet. You know, so those sort of companies is where we're looking. And that, that's if you look at the QVE portfolio, which is X20, so we don't have the exposure to the large banks and resources, thankfully. Um, you know, the, 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 there's plenty of stocks doing some interesting things, you know, despite the difficult economic environment. And look, at the end of the day, while the market has the wobbles, companies keep doing what they're doing. You know, they don't change their game plan because the Dow Jones or the uh, Australian market is down 10%. They're, they're doing, you know, exactly what they set out to do. Uh, so, look, look, from that point of view, we're not concerned. But obviously, the valuation will, in the short term, will depend on what the market de depends to, to price those stocks at. Thank you.